Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a skateboard swing. It was inspired by this little swing that I made for my kids, just a dowel and rope with multiple knots so that it can be adjusted for different kids hanging on it, a weight-bearing carabiner, and a hook that I will link below that I got on Amazon that I had professionally installed because when I was trying to install it, I could not find a stud and I wanted it in there really good. So um, the swing that I'm gonna show you you could use on a hook like this, or you could use like in the backyard, or on if you have like a patio hook that has like a strong hook meant to bear that much weight and that's in a like strong piece of wood, that would work too. I am not a contractor, I'm just a mom who's like fairly handy with tools, so this is definitely like <laughs> make at your own risk type of project. But I saw a picture of a skateboard swing on the computer and it was like, 140 or 100 I don't know a lot of money uh, the supplies to make this one cost about $30 and I'm just kind of making it up I have a plan in my head that I think is gonna work so I'll film the process and show you I got this skateboard deck on Amazon it was like about $15 I have a dowel here it's probably about four feet long I've got this rope that holds 124 pounds I went with a diamond braid nylon rope because I felt like it wouldn't give the kids rug burns or um, you know break against the wood and then I got this carabiner which holds 160 pounds for tools I've got a couple hand saws I don't know which one will work I'll try them both a drill tape measure pencil and sandpapers too all right so I put the rope across all the way to the floor the swing won't go to the ground but I want to give myself plenty of room for nuts so I'll cut it right there. You also need scissors for this project. Sorry, I forgot. I'm gonna have two pieces like that. And then I'm gonna cut the, these are gonna be the handles for the kids to hold on to. I'm gonna cut them a little bit um, longer than the width of the board. So I'm gonna cut those about 10 inches, two of them. You can just imagine me doing this. I'm not gonna literally show you. All right, so I have those cut and then I, Put them in a knot on the carabiner. I just always keep that one clip on there and then just switch out for the swings. So the knot I used was, you know, the tricky one like this where you pull it through. That way I don't have to worry about any slip jams or fails. It's just in there good. I cut the dowels down. The less jagged saw worked. That was a cardio workout. And this left me with this piece, which is a little longer. My vision for this piece is that it separates the ropes so that the ropes don't hit them in the face but I think that's a little bit much. So I'll cut off about e eh, of that. All right, so I've got uh, measured in an inch on each of those, and I'm going to drill a pilot hole first, just like a smaller hole, probably use that 7 64ths one. And then my string is a quarter inch, so then I'll do a quarter inch to try to get the string through. If it doesn't fit, I'll borrow a bigger drill bit from the neighbor. Battery died, so while that charges, I'm going to sand down all the edges of these and then after I get to actually do all the holes, I'll sand those too because I obviously don't want the kids to get any splinters. And then I'm just using the existing outer holes here and just to, everything's already in line there. I'm gonna measure an inch and a half in. Again, I'm just making this up, but that seems like plenty of distance. And then I'll drill holes in those and sand all that down as well. This is my wood chop. <laughs> I'm drilling. I sawed between these and I'm just drilling, holding it and going down. So I'm show, I'm making sure that I'm going straight through because you obviously want to make sure there's enough wood on each side so that the rope doesn't, you know, snap the wood. So I'm going straight through. The drill is still really struggling on the battery, even though it's plugged in. All right, so learn as it go error. <laughs> This bar, I want to separate these pieces, and I only put one hole, which is silly because I need two holes because there's two strings on each side. So I'll add an extra hole to each, probably about, you know, inch and a half so that there's enough distance to keep the holes separate from each other so that nothing breaks. Just for reference, I needed the 19 over 64 drill bit for the quarter inch rope. I took some tape and taped the ends of it so that it would be smoother to go through the holes. I've got these ones through with knots, and then I'm gonna put knots on the top and bottom of the handles. I'll do it loose at first to make sure I get it the right yeah, height that I need. Yeah, the right height that I need for the kids, and then I'll put the board on the bottom. So I put knots on both ends of this because I don't want it to slide around on the kids, and I double knot at the bottom. If I was doing this again, I would have definitely given myself more rope than I could have tied that those together, and also I could have given myself the option up there to make it adjustable and I also would add another set of dowels for sitting then they would have a handle for sitting or just for different size kids but 
Otherwise, I think it turned out pretty good. I will test it before said children because if it holds me, it will hold them. Oh, 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 ah. Okay, didn't break. <laughs>